welcome or welcome back to my channel. Happy New Year. This is the first official video upload of 2024. I'm going to do start this off with a Gelex tip application. Now I've had these Gelex tips for a minute now. Uh, I've received them as a gift from my friend. She tried them out, didn't like them, and said maybe you might like them. So these are the BT Art Box pre-made French tips. They are the pink and white. And I'm just kind of showing y'all how to size them out. Now, if you notice, there was a little gap on my thumbnail. So they it wasn't quite the right size. And when you're doing Gel X, you really want them to fit sidewall to sidewall completely just to prevent pop-offs. Um, because if the tip is too big or too small, it will make the tip pop off faster. Um, so I'm just going to size out the tips. I'm going to let you guys kind of watch that part. But um, I'm doing this video first because I've been getting a lot of questions about how I apply uh, gel peel base on my nails before I do my tips. Um, also, how the tips fit over the builder gel on the natural nails, which I have now. This is the video I did directly after applying the builder gel on my natural nails when I did that overlay. So that is the only thing that is on my natural nails. But here is the gel peel base that I like to use underneath my tips. This is by Bubble. Ignore the, the top. It has been used. It's very well loved. I love this peel base. Now I have the builder gel on my natural nails and I have a top coat. And then I'm going to put the peel base. I'm going to be using this 8-in-1 glue to attach my tips. Um, it's an 8-in-1 so it also can be used as a nail strengthener and stuff. I'm going to be using this uh, gel base and gel top coat on top as well. I'm also going to be using this little flash cure lamp that I have from the Painted Desert. It is like my favorite. It doesn't clip to my desk so I can literally move it anywhere that I want. I don't have to hold it. I really love this lamp and it's rechargeable. So also I have to show you a couple of other essentials. This finger rest which is super duper helpful when doing your nails and then the cute wood orange cuticle stick orange wood stick cuticle stick thing so here is how i apply my peely base now i have my top coat on i do not rough up my nails or anything like that and what i do is i take the peel base it's a little bit thicker like a builder gel almost consistency and i apply it to my whole nail so i apply it to the cuticle, to the side walls. I apply it a very thin layer, but not too thin. I guess you would apply it like you would a gel base and you just apply it to the nail, making sure to get all the way to the free edge. Now, when you're applying the Peely base, I want to note a couple of things. Number one, it is gel, so you really do not want to get it on your skin. Number two, you really want to try to cover up the, as much of the nail as possible if you want a uh, like a, a quicker, easier removal. Now, I have put one strip down the center and went on vacation for two weeks and it lasted, but those are just a couple of tips. Now, after I did that, I went ahead, I put it on all of the nails and I went ahead and I cured for a full 60 seconds in my lamp. After I did the full cure, I like to go in with a gel base coat on top of the peel base so that I have a base ready to go. Because when I apply my tips to my nails, I like to put a base coat down or a rubber base down and cure it before I put my tips on just so that it has something super sticky to stick to. So I put the peely base down, fully cured for 60 seconds, and now we're putting the gel base coat on. And I also like to cure this for 60 seconds because I'm not trying to under cure by any means. Like it only takes 30 seconds to cure, but I like to cure between uh, 45 and 60 seconds. Also, I use the orange wood stick to clean up any excess gel that may seep out with some isopropyl alcohol. I have these little mini um, Q-tips that I've been using too. But here's the 8-in-1 gl glue gel. You can use it for all those different things that you see on the back. Now, with these French tip Gel X tips, um, BTR Box does mention that if you just put a top coat on them, the French tip part could just chip. So you'll see me uh, showing you how to fix that problem at after we apply them. 
Now I'm just going to take a little bit of the gel glue, brush it on where my natural nail would be, and then swipe off just a little bit of excess at the free or at the cuticle line. Then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to turn on my flash cure lamp, but make sure to keep my finger out of the way. And then I'm going to go ahead and position the tip on my nail, pushing out all air bubbles going from the cuticle to the free edge. And then whenever I'm ready, I put it under the lamp for about 10 to 15 seconds or so. I just kind of hold it in place because I want to make sure that it's really secured. Actually, I lied. Usually I do about 10 to 15 seconds, but this one was holding kind of good. So I did about at least five to ten seconds sometimes I hold them longer like for my other like my index finger I likes to curve down so I just like to make sure that I have it in the place secured so here's what we're looking like with just the one nail done um, I'm gonna fix the cuticle we're gonna seal in the cuticle we're gonna get that little notch off the free edge at the end all the things but this is just how I apply my tips I don't generally show videos of me applying my tips just because I do it so often, but these tips, um, I got them and I really wanted to try them out uh, a different way. And I've been having a lot of questions about the Peely Base, like I mentioned before. I didn't do a removal of the Peely Base because I already have one on my channel, but if y'all would like an updated version, um, let me know and I can definitely do that for y'all. It's just been a while since I've used the BTR Box tips and these are the new ones. This is actually my first French tip French white white French tip mani ever so and it was super easy because I didn't have to do the white part okay so we're gonna continue on with all of the nails so with these tips specifically they are matte finish which means you can go ahead and just paint right on top of them because if they're already matted you don't have to buff them I would actually recommend not buffing them because then you'll buff the French tip off so they're already matte so the underneath is already matte as well. It's already pre-etched, it's already primed, it's already ready to go. Now, if you are not using peel base and you want that extra retention, I would recommend putting a primer on the tip itself underneath because that actually helps like chemically etch. You can also score up the inside or etch the inside with a nail file or a nail drill bit and make sure that that is super grippy. Those are all just extra things if you have trouble with like lifting or if you have any problems with your tips like staying on, those are some extra steps that you can do. But I mean, I put Peely Base underneath because I only wanted to wear these for about um, a week or so just to kind of see how they stayed on and how they looked and just to kind of try them out. And when I was ready to remove them, they removed super easy because of the peely base I had put underneath. I didn't have to soak off. It didn't take me a really long time. So they would have lasted a lot longer, but I just chose to remove them at that time. It just was a personal thing. That's all. I can only keep a French tip for so long. So I'm almost finished. I'm leaving this. This is in real time. I actually realized now that I did not speed this part up at all, just so y'all can see like what I go through when I'm doing my French tip or when I'm doing my tips. Like this is all real time. I wanted to start doing my videos just a little bit different, not necessarily leaving everything in, but I'm going to start leaving stuff in more real time for you guys. So you can actually see that the whole process that I'm not cutting things out that I'm not changing anything that I am trying to wear my glove on my right hand so I'm not touching the gel I should be wearing my UV glove on my left hand but I forgot and the peel base was already on so I didn't want to get anything stuck into the gel so I just toughed it out but this is my process when I apply my tips I do this every time and I just kind of wanted to share that with y'all this year, I'm going to be working on more in-depth tutorials, and I'm going to be working on a lot of art things. I have a super fun art video that I've been working on. It's a really cute winter art set. I'm actually making it short form this time. I have a lot of short form videos that I'm working on this year. So a lot of my stuff will be in the short section and I'll try to do some longer videos, but I've been having a lot of fun playing with short form content this year or at least so far this in from December until now. All right, so now I went ahead and I fully cured in my lamp for 60 seconds. And then I am going to go ahead and I'm going to take that little notch off of the tip. And that is all that you have to do with these. So 
I'm just filing a little bit just to take that little notch that you twisted the nail off of the little strand of nails. You know, nobody wants that on their um, nail tips. So just go ahead and file that off, straighten up the, the edge a little bit. And then that's really all you have to do. Now me, I like to file the cuticle line just a little bit, just so that everything looks nice and flush and crisp and just everything looks like more natural because I mean, you could just leave it like that, but I had a little bit of seepage at the back side of the nail. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to use this amazing handheld cordless e-file. This was gifted to me by one of my friends as well. She sent it to me as like a Christmas gift and I am completely obsessed with this e-file. I don't even really reach for my other file anymore. I love this so much. I will see if I can find the link and put it down in the description box. But now all I'm really doing is I'm literally just cleaning up the cuticle line, any excess glue that may have seeped out. And just to kind of make the edge a little bit more seamless for when I apply the top coat. So all I'm doing is just cleaning that up. That's all that you really have to do. Um, I just wanted to make sure you can hand file it as well, but I found that since I've taught myself how to use an e-file and also PS, let's pause a second. This small sanding band, if y'all don't have one, you need to go buy one. I was against it at first, but this small three millimeter sanding band is a complete game changer. If you don't have it, you need it. I thought I didn't need it and my gosh, I was wrong. You can find cheap ones anywhere. You can find them on Amazon. I know Timu, Shein, all those places have them. Get you one from somewhere. And I'm gonna link a couple of small businesses in the description box that sell them as well. So y'all definitely need one. So back onto what I was saying. Sorry, I had to get off on that, on that rant for a second because that thing is amazing. It is perfect for cuticle work. It made it work amazing. Now I just clean off with some alcohol to make sure that everything is ready for when I do uh, the top coat. But like I was saying before, with the top coat, BTR Box was saying that if you want your French tip, the color to not chip, you want to put like a strengthener or a builder gel on top of this before you put the top coat on. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back and I'm going to use that Betty Cora 8-in-1 nail glue because it can be used as a nail strengthener as well. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to apply this on top of the nail, like a base coat, and I'm going to go ahead and fully cure that in the lamp for 60 seconds. I'm going to apply it on the nail completely. And when I mean completely, I don't just mean on the top. I mean, I want you to get all the way to the cuticle. I want you to get all the way to the free edge, all the way on the sidewall. And I want you to like, get the edge really, really well because you don't want your gel to peel, number one, but you don't want the sides to start chipping because there's nothing more annoying than a, than a chip at the edge of the nail. That is like the most annoying thing when I do my nails is I get a chip. So you see what I'm doing? I'm pulling the brush over the edge of the nail and then capping the free edge keeps the tip from chipping. And then that is what I mean by fully cover the nail. And then I want you to cure it in your lamp for 60 seconds or 60 to 90 seconds, depending on your lamp. It's whatever your lamp says, minus 60 seconds because of the wattage. And then I want you to, before that to make sure that you have cleaned all the gel off your skin. Please clean any gel off your skin because it is not good to cure it on your skin. Go ahead and cure it. Um, go ahead and cure that fully. And then do the rest of the nails the same exact way. I went ahead and did that on all of the nails. And then you will be ready for your top coat. Now, doing your top coat is the same process. You wanna make sure that you're capping the edges, you're capping like all of the edges, the sidewalls, the free edge and everything, because you wanna make sure that everything gets itself in there. You don't want anything to be missed because when you miss stuff with your base coat and your top coat at the end when you're finishing, you leave room for stuff to chip and peel and you really don't want that. I mean, especially after all the time you just spent, you know, I mean, when I say like, you know, and telling you what to do, I mean, obviously all of this is suggestive. I, I'm saying that for me telling you, that's what I would do if I was you, obviously, because that's what I'm doing, but I'm not telling you what to do by all means. You can do whatever you want to do, 
but if you're wanting to do your nails how I did them in this video and have them last for a while and all the things, um, that's what I mean. If you're wanting to take the hints and the helps and whatever from this video, that's all I mean. I'm not forcing you to do anything and I'm not trying to be your mama and tell you what to do. So <laughs> just wanted to throw that out there in case anybody thinks that I'm like telling them what to do. But I'm just trying to share my advice share my thoughts and all my things with you guys because I really appreciate having had this channel for over a year now and I appreciate all of my subscribers and I really think that my channel does help a lot of people. I've gotten so many messages over the year and I want to thank everybody for taking the time out of their day to spend it with me, to watch these videos, to leave a comment, to like, to subscribe, share with your friends, all of the things. All of it means a lot. Um, I pretty much have annoyed my husband and my kids with showing them all my subscribers as they've grown over this past year. Just in one year alone, I made it to 854 subscribers. And to me, that is just mind blowing that that many people would even want to subscribe to watch me do my thing. So. I just am ready to see where this year takes me with this channel since I'm going to take a little pivot and go towards uh, nail art a little bit more. I'm going to still do some dip videos and back to the basics and stuff like that. So if you've made it this far, uh, leave me a heart down in the comments. Let's do, let's make it a black heart so that I can know that you guys have made it this far. A black heart or a white heart. Let me know that you made it and let me know what you think about this video and if there's anything that you want to see in this coming up year let me know in the comment section um, um, of course I will always list everything I use in the description box and if you don't see something in the description box because it just did not happen to make it there leave me a comment and I'll try to remember to list everything but if I if I don't I will hook you up with what it is that you're looking for in the comment section then again here are the tips and here's what they look like as the final result I think they look amazing I'm probably gonna use them again Thank y'all so much for watching this video. I hope y'all have a wonderful rest of your day.